Book of Wisdom, Chapter 12, Verse 13, and 16 through 19. You give repentance for sins. There is no God besides you who have the care of all. That you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. To all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people, by these deeds. That those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope. That you would permit repentance for their sins. The Word of the Lord. The first eleven verses of chapter 12, reminds us that God hated the Canaanites for their magical rites of idolatry and cannibalism. God gradually hated the Canaanites, so that he could provide them with an opportunity, to repent. This is a demonstration of God's mercy. He could have destroyed them immediately but in so doing he would have eliminated all opportunity for repentance. Wisdom chapter 12 verse 2, Therefore you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing. That they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. God's power is based on justice, or fairness. God, throughout history, has provided for the needs of humans, especially those who believe in him. Verse 19, His demonstration is a lesson to the chosen people that those who are just must be kind. When crushed by circumstances or oppression it is hard to remember that in time, God's time, your oppressors will reap their just rewards. In the meantime, we need to pray that the Holy Spirit will give you the fortitude to bear up under the oppression. Matthew chapter 5 verse 10, Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.